Hello, today we are going to be doing a toy review from the Kamen Rider toy line, Kamen Rider Gaim toy line, and um, some of this will be done in stop motion animation, which is what we saw a moment ago with the Transformers, and uh, some of it will be live action, where a hand comes out and uh, describes the features of the toy um, in real time. There is a lot of noise in the background, such as there is a train track in the back, so you might hear trains. Also, I'm kind of close to a school, so you might hear school chimes every once in a while. Um, but with that said, I'll try speaking as much as I can. Um, this toy is only available in Japan, and it's kind of difficult to find. It took me a while to find it. So um, if that makes you angry, I strongly suggest you think about, well, me. Hello. I want you to know that somebody in Williamsville, New York, loves you. We don't know who, but uh, I'm sure you can figure it out. You know, whatever. All right. Now, um, let's move. This toy came out a few uh about a month ago and um, unfortunately due to uh, finances and availability I wasn't able to pick this toy up right away so uh, I'm sure you probably have seen some sort of review of this before um, but this is my review okay let us go and start it let's start by taking a look at the toys package Let's take a closer look at this package. Now on to the toy. The base figure is a remolded and recolored Kamen Rider Baron figure with a new head. Let's take a look at both of the toys side by side. Now let's take a look at the armor. I apologize for the helmet, I had trouble taking pictures of the helmet's back. Okay, now let's take a look at the toy's gimmick, which is placing the armor onto this figure. Now, to open this up, to put the helmet inside, is quite simple. As you see, I put my finger in here for leverage, um, but you could kind of tear it over, there's a crack in the middle and open it like so okay just like the other helmets or the other armor the helmet attaches to a peg on the back and here we go let's close it up now much like the other armors the, fr the front plate kinda goes on top but before I close this up, I want to point out that unlike the other armors, as you might see, the front has a different mechanism to be placed on the front. Whereas the other ones you kind of fold down and you fold up like this. Uh, this one you have to, it has a little uh, thing where you have to push down like this. That's the only difference. Um, compared to the other armors. Okay. Snaps together like so. And much like the other figures, there's a little indentation on the shoulders for the armor. So place it down as such. As you place oh the helmet got loose. <laughs> um here, what I'll do is reattach the helmet. Now for this you got to make sure it's secure in, securely in, excuse me, and then you close it up again, okay, now 
place a head and as such. Make sure that the two the pegs fit onto the shoulder pegs and then proceed to open it up. Excuse me. And here we have the action figure. Um, it has all the articulation points as the other figures. Um, the only this guy is the only one that has had the elbow problem I've had noticed so far. Um, but other than that, okay. Sorry, slight technical issues. So um, to review his articulation points, he has. He, ankle, knee, thigh, waist, arm, bicep. The hips and the shoulders are almost ball, ball joints, but not quite. Um, very similar to the Kamen Rider Wizards, where they actually had some kind of another device but it's almost as good as a ball joint and it doesn't um, cause any problems as such uh, usually the ball joints usually ha pop off somehow alright now let's move on to the vehicle Okay. let's take a look at the block seat that this toy comes with All right, now let's take a look at the vehicle's um, abilities. First, let's take a look at the lock mechanism. Um, close. To open, press this button. Once you put it on a drive, like this, close it. Lock on. Come on. It opens slightly here. Much like the other vehicles, the bikes, there's a, is a spring location where you can attach and now let's get it off and transform it. To transform it, I, it is recommended on the package and I believe it is a good recommendation to keep this portion sprung. Okay, you'll see why. Let's, tra let's transform this thing. First, the spring loaded portion, continue pulling until it clicks into place. Okay. Now, take this and push here. Clicks. This is the tail. You also take this and pull it out. Okay. Now, for this, push this up. That is the reason why it is good for this to be up, because it gives this more st space. Okay, if it was closed, and you pull up, you can't really push up as much. Okay. Also, and the last we do is separate the handles. And here we have the bike. Now the figure doesn't really sit here. It kind of looks like a seat, but it doesn't really operate as such. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now I'm placing this figure on. And as you can see, it fits fairly easily. So, it doesn't really work as a seat. This is kind of like the seating area. Um, so, yeah, that's this figure. I'm rather happy about him. Um, I think he is an interesting character on the show. Um, 
it's good to have like a cowardly character um, survive as long as he has survived. Usually in Kamen Rider, when they have many Kamen Rider characters like Kamen Rider Yuki, there's usually one character demise. And so far this show has shown one character demise. Thankfully this guy is still around. And he's kind of a neat character to ha play as a the, the wimpy bad guy kind of guy. Um, Alright. That's one more thing I guess I can point out is um, his lock, it will be a special order. His um, lock, LCD lock, although you can find a, a toy version of a lock without the lights. And uh, anyways, the lock in the faceplate will be a special order from the premium website. Anyways, that's all for today. Thank you very much and have a good day.